Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick update on my experience with the Nest Cam. Of course, this is the culmination of Google's acquisition of Dropcam, and I have to say, I am really impressed. Now, at first glance, most of you are going to look at something like the Nest Cam, whether it's to watch your children, home security, office security, an inexpensive solution for home surveillance or office surveillance. But again, low cost. Uh, the subscription cost is another story. If you do want to keep time-lapse footage, uh, an actual roll of what the Nest Cam is capturing uh, on the cloud, you will pay for that per camera. Uh, some people are frustrated by the fact that, you know, if you have two cameras in the same location, shouldn't Google or uh, Nest, in this case, since they are still a sub of uh, Google, be aware that those cameras are you know, sitting on the same network, so maybe they shouldn't bill, but what it comes down to is they're going to bill you because after all, they are still allotting you that cloud uh, storage, whether you have two cameras for one room or not. So with that aside, let's talk about video quality. I would include a sample, but the video would be of my own home. So I'm not going to do that. You'll forgive me, hopefully, uh, for foregoing that. I'm sure you can find video samples online. And if I can, I'll include a link in the description. Uh, but what I can tell you is that I was thoroughly impressed with the performance of this device, both when it came to uh, you know, the general video quality, which I was able to achieve 1080p in my home over this. A lot of users are not. Uh, granted, it was in the same room as my router. Uh, still, the quality was very, very good. Uh, the wide-angle lens was able to capture everything pretty much that I needed to. It got about 90% of the room covered uh, in the uh, corner that I put it close to the ceiling, but not quite ceiling mounted. Uh, the magnetic uh, piece, very interesting if you do have something to stick it to. Um, some people have kid about you know sticking it to the fridge. I actually do have a, a metal piece of furniture that I considered mounting it to, but uh, I knew that it could end up becoming something that would fall off rather than really getting it out of the way. Uh, the length of the cord that's included, the USB cable that you'll need to power this and connect to the wall in order for it to, uh, you know, power on and actually, uh, of course, sync up with your uh, network is long enough. Could it be longer? Absolutely, but you can always, I would imagine, get an extension or simply a longer micro USB cable uh, to handle this. Uh, but the one included for my needs was perfectly fine, and that was tracking it up about, I would say, eight to nine feet high. So that's pretty good out of the box. Also, when there is absolutely no lighting, I want to point out that the Nest Cam, yet again, quality was superb. It auto detects. You can turn that on or off. In my case, I left on auto, and it had no problem detecting that the lights had gone off, and it very easily was still able to uh, see everything and anything that was going on. Audio pickup, on the other hand, is maybe its weakest point, but after all, if this is for video surveillance of an area, whether we're talking about children, pets, or home security, or office security, as I mentioned before in general, audio is not really going to be a critical feature. What is cool is that you are able, with the speaker that's on board, there is a microphone and a speaker, of course, to speak to whoever the Nest Cam is watching using the app on iOS or Android. So in the event you're, let's say, watching a pet or uh, you know, a cat or a dog and you see them doing something you don't want to, you can try to tell them to stop. Of course, whether or not you believe they speak your language or vice versa is a whole nother story. And maybe the tone of your voice could get them to stop. But the output of the microphone isn't that intense. So in most cases, at least in my experience, specifically with a cat, um, it, it really was irrelevant. The cat didn't care. And I don't know that a dog necessarily would have either. I think it might have been more sensitive to it. Um, the cat was more interested in how to get to it rather than to communicate with it, this eye in the sky, uh, if you will. So uh, really, in my experience, the Nest Cam delivers on exactly what you want, which is great video quality, um, innovative features like I was just mentioning, also the ability to enhance uh, and really zoom in on areas of the uh, space that it's actually surveying. Uh, of course, you don't have remote control to actually move this, uh, something you could do with D-Link solution. Uh, but again, it's more about uh, the quality of the video, which is by far and away the best I've ever seen on a home surveillance piece of this price point. 
And uh, originally retailing for 200 US, now you sometimes can find this for like 180, 179, uh, or excuse me, 170. I think over Black Friday it might have hit 150. Uh, so it can be had for less, but generally retailers are going to stick to close to retail simply because there really isn't a very solid competing product. There are a lot of other solutions like it, but nothing that hits, I think, exactly the sweet spot that the Nest Cam does, which is why Dropcam was something uh, that was attractive to Google in the first place because they knew that it was a way... Well, I'm not even going to get into the whole picture of what Google will plan to do with this, but now they're in our home besides on our phone, tablets, um, and they have time-lapse of you know, your office, whatever you're using, uh, which is a little creepy, but then again, in the same vein, also incredibly cool. I mean, the fact that I was able to remotely monitor, uh, let's say, in my case, again, uh, the cat's behavior and see where it was going just so I had an idea of what it was actually interested in exploring, um, and the night vision part, also doing an impeccable job of picking up the cat. Sometimes I couldn't see the cat, but if I you know, threw on my cell phone or my laptop, I could see where the cat was because of the Nest Cam. So that gives you an idea of how good the video quality really is, in some cases better than the human eye, at least in darkness, that is. And uh, again, flexibility and a form factor that's really low profile, another thing I like a lot about it when you compare it to a lot of the other solutions. So sorry again that I'm not including a video or audio or even a, 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 a you know, a demo, a tour of what the mobile software is like, but the good news is it's all really intuitive. You just have to create an account. You get a free 10-day trial of um, the cloud storage for your video uh, footage, uh, but after that, I believe it's $50 uh, for the first camera and then 100 every camera thereafter. Of course, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm, I'm not trying to be precise with this, but just give you all an idea of what the costs are going to be like. And when you put that into perspective with what a lot of the other services do charge, uh, it is quite competitive, if not beating out most of the competition, especially the quality. I mean, for me to be able to go over the, the time-lapse video and look at all the different hits that showed the uh, motion sensor going off, which I heard from a lot of people wasn't very accurate, and I understand why. It does often misdetect. But when it comes to having a pet running around, um, I could pretty much sync up just by skipping to all of those motion detections and see that, again, the cat was on the move, which was pretty cool. Uh, when it comes to children, of course, this is going to be a great uh, companion as well. Uh, certainly not a substitute for having a human in the room, just as it isn't for having a pet. But it is a great way to make sure everything is okay and know whether or not you can have a peace of mind, which is really what I think Nest Cam is all about, whether we're talking about, again, security uh, or just wanting to know what's going on inside your home or office. So interesting product um, and something that I can recommend uh, without any hesitation for those of you curious. I think it's going to work for just about everyone who's looking for this type of product. So uh, an easy one to recommend. Uh, the only flaw really being, again, that uh, microphone and speaker quality. Maybe the next uh, revision will get bumped up a little more power. Uh, and also maybe we'll get UHD video, but uh, who needs that except for me at this point and some other consumers that really do have UHD displays everywhere and hardware that can handle it. But the 1080p does work here. So for those of you concerned that it's not going to, um, it is going to depend on the quality of your connection and your network and your router. Absolutely. No question about that. And interference from other devices in your home, neighbors, uh, whatever it may be. Uh, the LED at the top, by the way, will indicate whether or not it's on or off. You don't have to leave this on all the time. Of course, you can switch it off with the app. But again, it was just a really nice thing for me to be out of the house and be able to just flip on the app and see what's going on, um, what my, my, uh, my good friend, uh, my boy Rue, was up to uh, roaming uh, my home to see just what he was doing because he is a big cat. Don't kid yourself. He he's like uh, somewhere between 12 and 14 pounds any given week. So I got to keep an eye on him. You know, there's a lot of hardware as you might imagine here uh, in the studio, and uh, if he's roaming, I've got to know that uh, all is well. So Nest Camp definitely accomplishes that. Uh, I endorse it. Again, this was not given to me as a review sample. This is something I purchased on my own volition and need, and boy, does it solve um, 
you know, exactly what I was looking to get accomplished. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. And of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.